Hey everybody, this is Andrew Phoenix showing you Key Transfer, a really useful flash animation utility written by Yosef Flowman, my new best friend, who I like to call Flowmaster. My mind was blown when I was able to animate this entire scene right here by copying animation from only three movie clips using Key Transfer. Check it out. Here I have the three movie clips which I animated in advance. They each do their own separate thing. This guy pops up, this guy scales out, and this guy moves up. First thing I want to do is open up Key Transfer by rubbing a magic lamp or by going to Window, Other Panels, Key Transfer. Now I want to specify the animation that I want copied by selecting these frames here or by selecting the layer name itself. I'll go ahead and select Move Up, which belongs to this guy here, and go into Select Animation Layer on the Key Transfer panel shows that it was copied. Now I can go to uh, these movie clips here that I want to copy the animation to. In this case, these two lights. Go ahead and uh, highlight these layers as you can see and then hitting transfer animation right here. Animation is copied. Just that simple. Make some tweaks. This little cascade effect. I'll show you once again how that was copied by copying this uh, scale up animation belonging to this red guy here, selecting the layer, going over here, select the animation layer, good to go. Then I'll apply the animation to this ground layer here which I'll solo out so you can see better. There it is. And I'll go ahead and do that to these other movie clips here. The foreground and background city skylines. Tweak them a little bit. And they call this staggering whenever you're uh, offsetting these keyframes, which is also a, a unique feature of key, tr key transfer. It allows you to stagger based on a variety of parameters. Check it out. I'll go ahead and apply the animation to these buildings here. But first, I'll make some adjustments. I'll open Key Stagger. So we'll roll out here. And I'll say, stagger these buildings by two frames. Right now, I have it ordered by layer. So it'll stagger uh, the keyframes uh, per layer in which they were selected. But I don't want that. I want proximity to chords, which is pretty cool because it um, offsets the movie clips uh, based on their distance from a central point which you can specify here by this little helper here. these values here and I'll move that just a little bit there we go okay now it'll animate or offset the animations uh, from this little point here check it out see a little easier. And now it's uh, animating from that central point on. Oh, looks like I missed the building. So I'll go ahead and uh, I'll uh, transfer the animation to that layer. Let's move that guy out. There it is. All right. Um, allows you to get fast results really quickly than ever before. Um, when you have to animate one thing, really powerful. For instance, I'll animate this cloud right here. I'll clear the settings by clicking this button here, selecting this animation layer. Now that it's in memory. Oh, yeah, see, I'm so used to Key Transfer doing it for me that I forgot to apply the, the, the tween itself. <laughs> All right. Bam, bam. Some memory. And now I'll be able to randomize using Key Transfer uh, just how far uh, the next cloud goes by going to this property modifiers. And, uh, setting these random uh, randomization values uh, 
to negative 10 and 100. Now it'll uh, create the animation just the same, but uh, the keyframes will now fluctuate between these two thresholds, negative 10, negative 100, or whatever you want. I'll set one parameter here, modify last frame, so these uh, clouds only get moved on that last frame and not the first frame, because I want them to stay in place. So, there we go. And now they each move out their own little unique speed. Nice, whenever you want uh, your animations to look a little bit more natural. Now you could use this in conjunction with um, Key Stagger too for some pretty interesting results. Go ahead and clean this up a little bit. And then there it is, and I'll tweak this a little bit so the buildings come up a little later. There it is. Now, as you can see here, it has these keyframes. Uh, there's a JSL file limitation that uh, prohibits uh, copying of uh, blank keyframes as the first keyframe. So if you try to do that, it'll it'll uh, pimp slap you down and send you home crying to mama. So you'll have to go back and clean that up yourself. It ain't, it ain't bad. You know. I'll add them all. And there it is. And I'll go ahead and uh, copy this pop animation here. Go ahead and clear that. Copy. And then now I'll animate this title. Now a cool thing about Key Transfer too is it also col uh, copies color effects or even uh, filters as you saw there you know, with these guys. So first thing I want to do is animate these and Flowmaster title. So I want to stagger them but this time I'm going to do by one and then specify. see like 200. That's cool. And you'll see here if I adjust this group by distance, um, it'll basically uh, group together movie clips if they're within uh, this little radius here or these steps. So uh, it's really useful if you want to stagger your animation but uh, only have an X amount of groups you want you know, to uh, have offset. So it doesn't take forever, you know, for the cascade effect to do its thing. All right. So I'll go ahead and select those. Bam. And I'll push these out a little bit far out there. There it is. Clean up. And now I'll animate uh, this block of text, this key. And I have this broken down into like an inner fill. Oh, it looks like somebody's car got broken into. You spent time in the office animating while getting your car jet. Instead of tweening, you should have been in your ride gleaming, son. <laughs> Alright, so uh, I have this broken down by this outer stroke here and this inner fill. Go ahead and animate the stroke first and then I'll do the fill. Bam. Push these out a little bit. Oops. There it is. And now I'll basically just do the same thing for this. The only difference is this has like a, a shadow. And imagine doing this all by hand. 
Oh my god, it took ages. Alright. That. Uh, Get ahead of myself here. Now, the way the key transfer applies animation uh, is each step gets recorded in the undo history. So uh, I don't know how many steps your undo goes to, but you might want to save each time uh, you do like some heavy animation transferring. So let it do its thing right there. Cool. And then we got to animation going here. There it is. I'll just do my cleanup. It's optional. I mean, I just do it because I don't like my movie clips existing when they don't need to on the timeline. And now I'm just going to push this out a little bit so the city comes in before the title. There it is. And clean up. Boom. Probably shouldn't be doing this while I'm demoing it. I mean, get to the point, right? But hey, it's OCD in me. All right, check it out. And that's all there is to it. You know. Uh, I know I was explaining stuff, but you could break this down, shoot, into like three minutes. But anyways, be sure to check back at the blog at labs.blitzagency.com for any updates. And uh, if you want to ask a question or make sweet, sweet love to that comment box, I'm sure Flowmaster would like that. And if uh, you use 3D Studio Max, you may be interested in the original version of Key Transfer, which you could find at www.scriptspot.com. I'm Andrew Phoenix. Thanks for watching.